Hi there everyone. I'm going back and revisiting uh, subjects I had previously scanned with my other scanners. Uh, pop 1, Pop 2, and well I haven't scanned this one with the Mini yet, but I plan to. But um, this is with the Scan Lizard. I don't know where this figurine came from. Could have been a gift to me. Uh, I'm <laughs> getting to where my memory is a little bit fuzzy sometimes. Um, could have been in my dad's effects, could have been in my mom's effects. Um, but I scanned it for you so you can see what kind of detail it could pick up. There are little scales on the fish and that kind of thing. Uh, grain in the wood of the, the growth. Well, not wood, I guess not underwater. Or maybe it's a fallen branch. Who knows? But nice little scan. This was turntable mode, about 960 frames. It was three different views merged in CR Studio. Cleaned up just the smallest little bit. Everything's pretty much done with the defaults. I haven't had the time to explore moving off the default settings too much. I don't want to get to the point where I'm frustrated. <laughs> like a lot of people are, but I always start with defaults and work from there. This is, like I said, Mesh Lab with the point cloud. And there's the mesh in Mesh Lab, the way they typically display it. Now I've been able to import these uh, scan files into other apps, but strangely enough, um, I have to uh, resave it out of uh, Mesh Lab or any one of the other apps. I have to resave it to uh, get Revo Studio to recognize it. Kind of odd, but this is the processed file, the way it appears, freshly processed in CR Studio. The light version, by the way, is what I'm using. If you haven't noticed, the GUI is different. But that's how it's presented after the scan has just been processed. But if you drag it in uh, after having done the file, saved it, and bring it in as a saved file, that's what you get. It's kind of odd. I don't know the reason for that. But there you have it. The lizard scan of a fish. See you next time on the next scan. Bye for now.